All right. We should be live now. Uh, give me a quick second. Just want to make sure everything's working before we get started. Also, I don't know why Twitch keeps hiding my chat from me. Hold on. Okay, but everything should be working right now. So give me a quick sec. Oh, hey, thanks for the resub. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so chat window should be working. I guess Streamlabs doesn't display notifications. That's fine. All right. But hey, everyone. Give me a quick sec. I'm probably going to reconfigure a couple of things in between weeks, but this is mainly a proof of, per of concept. Make sure that my DS settings are working right now. I had to rearrange a couple of things with an OBS update, and I realized I did not have my old DS like layout saved down. Okay, but yeah. Grand Bazaar. Literally, this is the one like Harvest Moon game I... No, not much about. I've played all of the other ones to some aspect. This one though, actually I probably still have my old save file from like, hold on. I think I still have my old save file from when I first tried this out way back when this game first came out. Like, I would've been what, finishing high school at the time? Yeah, I don't know what it was about this game, but for some weird reason, I just did not get past the very beginning. I don't know why, but let's give it a try this time. I want to give this ch game a real chance. Okay, uh, we'll get started in a second, though. Give me a moment. But yeah, I don't know how far we're going to get in this. I want to at least play for a couple weeks just to get a good sense of it. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do a full playthrough, because I don't know what a full playthrough of this game would, def would like, involve... But we'll see. We'll play it by ear for now. Okay. So, uh, just gonna check one thing before we get started. Also, let me know if the volume settings are a bit weird. I had to adjust a couple of things. Minute. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll adjust the chat box later. Okay. Yeah, let's uh let's start a new game, shall we? I'm just gonna overwrite this one. It's literally spring three. There is nothing to like say from that. Okay. Uh let's go mail. Oh yeah, the whole theme of this town is like wind, isn't it? It's what, Zephyr Town? Something like that? Or is that the Japanese name? It has something to do with wind, that's all I remember. Because I think I had to look it up during the other playthroughs where they're like, having they had some like music from this game. Zephyr Town. ourselves how many oh wait do i only have hold on a minute one two three i only have six spaces for a name like, yeah yeah i only have six spaces for a name that barely fits my okay fine originally i was gonna do the do farms a lot but that's not gonna fit oh are you i mean I am using a 3DS capture card, so I do have a microphone if I need to use it. 
I guess that's a good thing I didn't try to emulate this game. Also, this entire stream was to test out my capture card setup. Anyways, yeah, I guess we... <laughs> is everything only six letters? That's gonna limit us quite a bit. I was born... And I'm just gonna do with the usual. What the heck is that face? I... I think that's supposed to be his happy, like, portrait. He looks terrified. Okay, so I do know this is the big gimmick of this game, is the bizarre. So once a week, we basically come here to do the Grand Bazaar, I guess. I don't ever think I got this when I, uh... I don't think I ever actually did the Bazaar when I first played, obviously. But yeah, I'm guessing this is, like, where we're gonna be selling all of our junk. I see the plot of this game. Oh, I guess we all, okay, so we also buy a lot of stuff here too. Is this a but thou must? Yeah, it's a but thou must. Okay. I might mess around with some of the resolution too. Uh, for next stream. The DS is kind of weird in that aspect. Alright, so this is our farm. Got fields, got barn. And, wait, where's the house? Oh, uh, what are we naming the farm? How about... Is it still six letters? Six letters. So, we could go with the usual, f oh, wait, hold on a second, where might Steinus go? We could go with the farm farm, that's true. But I, this town is known for the bazaar, and that seems to be like the core uh, conceit of the game. So we could just name it... I need to stop dropping my Steinus. But yeah, we could go with farm, f oh, wrong. Farm Farm. Do I have any, like, special characters or anything? Nope. Nothing fun. Hmm, what else? Would we, we could go with, like... We could just name it Bazaar Farm. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. We could name it Bazaar Farm. Actually, Bazaar has two R's, doesn't it? Never mind. Man, six letters is kind of limiting. Eh, screw it. Uh... You know what? Farm with an E. Just to make it fancy. It's Farm Farm. There has to be some place that name that 
that uh spells farm that way, right? This is a fancy farm, okay? Also, this was around the ass like the time when they started really tutorializing these games. Oh yeah, this game has double jump. I forgot about that. Oh, that's gonna be really weird. This game uses the B button instead of the A button to interact with everything. That's gonna take some getting used to. Why is there a double jump in this game? This game has a double jump of Winds of Anthos did not have a double jump. Or a jump at all. Yeah, I know uh, L buttons to switch between running and walking. What's the interact button again? I guess they don't have it yet. Alright. Yep, we saw that. Okay, so apparently this game is going to have platforming. Good to know. Alright, yeah, B buttons to interact with stuff. That is definitely going to take some getting used to. Wait. We can jump in the river? I guess we don't get we can't get to the river from here. Okay. Yeah, I think next week I'm gonna make a couple of adjustments to the layout. I think I need to put a better background behind Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll put a better background behind the chat. It's a little easier to read that way. Okay, anyways, uh what was I doing? Right. What's next? Alright, so yeah, we have our X button to do menu stuff. That's true. Trio of Towns also had jumping. It didn't have double jumping, but it did have normal jumping. Okay, so... Why is there a blocked off hole in my house? Uh, what happened to the cellar? Oh, I forgot about this. So yeah, I forget, did... Did other games in the DS era also have like... Perishable items. Yeah, I figured I would unlock like the summer area later on. It's just kind of funny that in the middle of my kitchen there's just a giant hole in the floor covered up with a couple of planks. I want to take a look around the house before we go to bed. Yeah, freshness. We'll see how big of an issue that is. Alright, so yeah, we just have a... I'm guessing that's going to be the summer later on. Our bed. Yep, we can look at the bookshelf to see everything that we've done. Alright, I want to take a look at my assets. So right now we have zero animals, zero chickens, zero pets. Whoops. 
No horse is a what is it? Zero percent bizarre level. No money. I know how to make turnip salad. Oh, here are all the NPCs. So it looks like we got a bunch of bachelorettes. I'm sure we'll meet all these characters later on. We'll take a look at those later. Uh, fireplace. Kitchen. This is actually a pretty nice house. Okay, so yeah, recipe, buying dishes from cafe. I don't have any items to cook with. Oh. Oh. I don't have anything to put in the vase. Uh, oh, I can actually, can I get to my table from here? I can't take a bath or use the bathroom. Anything else coming up? Uh, Bazaar is every Saturday? Saturday or Sunday? Oh, I guess there's a holiday next Saturday, that's why. Okay. Wait. Oh, this is a festival that spans like an entire week. Huh. Okay, yeah, let's go to bed. We'll just continue through the tutorial for now. Uh, this game didn't have a 3DS version, did it? I'm pretty sure... I think you might be thinking of Tale of Two Towns, which was like both, um, DS and 3DS. That one I know for a fact had two versions, because I remember, I think the 3DS had a game-breaking bug at launch, which is why, like, the DS version was the, uh, version to play back then. Oh, I'm like, wait, what did I get? I got a hoe. Okay. I'm assuming I do. All right, fine, show me, whatever. Is it the exact same as every other game? Or is... Because this was the era of gimmicks, so... Is there a gimmick to this game for the, uh... For the crops? Oh, are seeds, uh, three by three or just one in this game? I guess they're just one in this game. Oh, we can't run on our crops in this game. Okay. Good to know. Can I put fences up so I don't accidentally run on my crops? Oh, right. Nope, come on, game. Okay, so yeah, just need to remember not to run on my crops then. I guess we can walk on them. Yep. So water every day and then harvest. Good to know. Same as always. 
Oh, okay, so this is one of the games where you can water twice a day. And do okay, I can't even walk on them, huh? So, good to know. Ooh, I guess that means we're gonna need to be careful about how we plant crops then. I feel about that. And yeah, just don't run out of stamina. The usual. Every time he makes that face, I just think he's terrified. Like, he just saw something that absolutely horrified him. Okay, well, we'll go to town later on and uh, meet all the NPCs. First things first, I need a plant. Oh, yeah, we have fertilizer, nice. Is there a strafe button? I guess the strafe button is just move after you do an action. Yeah, it sounds like we can't even walk on our crops. So I basically want to maybe leave a row in between crops just to make sure I have enough room to go in between them. Okay, uh, everything's been watered. Should I fertilize? Eh, screw it. Why not? Make our first crop good. I think it said I can't even walk over them. All right, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Uh, let's go to town for a little while. Uh, a little while. Don't mind me. Also, I can't do giant like death stacks like you can Rune Factory. I did not think this game would have- oh my god. I did not think this game would have platforming of all things. Where am I? A shortcut? It's a shortcut. Okay, it's um... It's gonna take some getting used to in terms of movement. Also, yeah, I am playing on hoarding everything. What do we got here? Who lives here? So far, nobody. Oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. Oh, she's cute. Alright, so we got Sherry over here. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, this is the mayor's house. Felix, hold on. We gotta talk about the gigantic uh, portrait of you right here. Hey. 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 Yeah. That's um, that's an interesting hey. choice for hey. artwork. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so that's the mayor's house. Uh, what else is around here? Isaac, okay. Oh, you're the windmill guy. You're probably super important then. Because it seems like wind and windmills are pretty like important in this game. Hey, yeah. Oh, I want to stop by the seed shop too. How much money do I have? A thousand? I kind of want to buy as many seeds as I can. Maybe some fertilizer too. We'll see. Right now, though, I just want to make sure I meet everyone. <laughs> Got Claire and... 
Wilbur here. What do you two do? Something. You guys do something. I'm sure we'll figure it out later. Hey. I can't go in there. Oh, are these shops? These shops are probably just closed. We got ourselves some twins here. Uh, rule shop 7 to 11. Oh, wow, you are open late. Oh, wait, is this the, uh, cafe? Oh, no, this is the... I was not expecting that design for him. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I played Story of Seasons, the 3DS one. Yeah, I played that one. Um... Oh, his design was changed in the West? Oh, wait, no, I think I do remember that there are, like... Yeah, there are, like, two of them, aren't there? Or three of them, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's get... You know what, screw it, let's get six. Oh, that was a sound clip. I don't know if I need money for anything. You know what? If I need money, I'll make more money. Give me like 12 fertilizers. Hey, oh, come. I'm doing well. Oh, wow. Hold on. There we go. All right. What is that? Hold on a minute. Wait. That's a cactus with a sombrero and a guitar. They changed that for the West, didn't they? What was that in the original, I wonder? Also, wait a minute, that's a jump pad. What? The... Why is there a shortcut into the house via the chimney? How is that ever going to be helpful? Alright, well, anyways. Uh, is this the restaurant? Oop. Uh, 10 to 11. Alright. I mean, I don't know if I can afford any food right now. I kind of spent a lot of money. Ooh, yeah. 550 for some donuts. 350 for some pudding. Not gonna... I can't afford that right now. Marion, who I guess is actually not a bachelorette, surprisingly. She looks like she would be one. Okay, so cafe is here. So we've seen the general store, the cafe. I guess we'll go explore the rest of the town then. What do we got over here? Ooh, flowers. Alright, I learned my lesson. I do need to hoard everything, apparently. Yo. Oh, is this the windmill area? Okay, there's a windmill here. Uh, can't get in there. Oh, hold on a second. Who are you? I don't like you, Kevin. I don't know why. I just don't like you. Wait. What the heck is a boarding course? Like... Like snow or skateboarding? Or... I guess I'll come back to that one later. Is there snowboarding in- Is there a wacky snowboarding minigame in this game? Oh, it's the uh, Bazaar. I'm guessing they're closed today. Yeah, they're closed today. Okay. Oh, I guess this is where the freshness thing comes in. We probably want our stuff to be as fresh as possible um, before selling them at the Bazaar.
Okay. Uh, I guess I'll start heading back then. I feel like there should be more shops, right? Oh my god, is there an actual skate morning or skate morning skateboarding mini game in this? I guess it was the mid two thousands. These are just weeds, right? Yeah. Uh. Okay, that's the way back to the farm. I want to go see what's over here. I feel like there should be more shops. I guess that's what the bazaar is for. Never mind. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. All right, that way is completely blocked off. I guess we've seen everything then. Oh. I got a grasshopper. Nice. Oh, how's my inventory looking? It is... Starting to get full. Okay, so yeah, I guess there's only like two main shops in town outside the bazaar, so... I'm guessing the bazaar is where we get all of our animals and junk. For now, I'm going. Oh, well, I'm going home and planting all the stuff I just picked up. Oh yeah, we have a windmill on our farm too. We can't do anything with it, but we have a windmill. Okay, so it looks like we can walk on our crops. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look this up real quick. Hold on. Alright, Fogo, what do you have to say? Okay, so we can't just walk on them. Oh wait, is time not paused right now? Hold on. Uh, 2.20. Oh, that is bizarre. So if I just stay here for a second. Yeah, I guess time is not paused while in the menu. That is... That is actually quite bizarre there. That's a weird decision. Okay. Okay, but it sounds like walking on crops does not damage them, despite what the game said. Yeah, I don't know what's with that decision. Like, that is a really weird one, not gonna lie. Um water. I am- wait. Oh, I unequipped it. Yeah, there's probably some way to pause the game. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm gonna save my fertilizer for now. I'll fertilize tomorrow. Also, what is this? Oh! Oh, touch screen, uh, silliness. Okay. Well, that's a thing. It was the DS era, after all. I don't know if I'm walking or running. We'll fertilize while we're here. Is it minus? Or not minus, uh, select? No, it doesn't seem like it.
Hold on. I'll figure it out later. It's not that important. Oh yeah, I have a basket too. Oh, the touchscreen map controls? I don't know how to access that, actually. Because touching the touchscreen just opens up the main menu. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. I'm hitting start and select, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, this is not stylus only. It's completely buttons. Oh, here's my barn. No animals right now. Alright, there's nothing else I really need to do today. I've planted everything, fertilized. Uh, oh, actually wait. That's right, in this game we can water crops twice in a day. So I guess we're gonna... Oh, they're dry. I guess we'll wait until the crops dry out in the afternoon. Actually, no, it's already 6 p.m. The bottom crops aren't going to dry out today. Uh, I played a little bit before when I was much younger. This is my first, tr like, time actually giving the game a chance. Okay, so I guess my barn is, in fact, attached to the house. That's different. Okay, so I see the freshness now. Uh, no, it seems like watering them twice will actually increase, like, make them grow faster. Which is why I know rainy days apparently aren't the best, because they actually slow down crop growth. Because you can't rewater them in the afternoon when it's raining. Okay, so we can go use the bathroom. How much time does that take, actually? Okay, so that only takes like five minutes. Uh, how about a bath? How long is a bath gonna take? That was a five minute bath. That is not long enough to get clean. Time for bed. I wonder, would it... Once I get my uh, turnips in, if I cook them, are they going to sell for more at the bazaar? I mean, I'm sure we'll find out later. Because the first bazaar is on... Saturday, right? Yep. Starts at 10 a.m. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have a basket. So, how does the basket work in this game? Okay, it auto stores. Well, that's good to know. That's a little too cumbersome to just lug around with me. Well, I guess if I'm going out to gather stuff, it might be handy to have. Hey. Hey. Wait, hold on a second. Can I water in midair? I can. Yo. 
よよよよよ Okay, uh, crops have been watered. Not much else to do right now, so I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go. This, I'm gonna go give this a try. Oh wait. Okay, it's only for harvesting. Got it. So I can't just take it out with me if I'm gonna go gather stuff. I guess I can go buy myself some more fertilizer, just in case. Oh, that does drain- wait, does that drain my stamina? Yes, yes it does. Okay, I see what you mean about jumping into the river. Also, I just realized something. Does this game not have an ocean? Like, almost all Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons or Film just have ocean access, right? Is this like an, I guess this is an inland, uh, whoops. Oh, that is kind of weird. We are, I guess we are in a valley, that's true. Well, even a valley can sometimes have out ocean access. Like, uh, A Wonderful Life, Forget Me Not Valley had ocean access. But I guess we are, yeah, we are in the mountains in this game. Okay, so that does change my map of the uh, Story of Seasons world, which I totally made and I'm not just making it up right now. Oh, I never went to the hotel. They're a cute old couple who runs the hotel. All right, we got Daisy over there, with, who is a bachelorette. But yeah, I get, I'm trying to remember now, how many towns did not have Oceanside, like, access? Because usually they do that for, like, fishing and stuff. Oh yeah, that reminds me, we don't have a fishing pole yet. Or a sickle. We actually don't have any tools yet, huh? Do we get, I guess we get all those at the bazaar, I'm assuming. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do today. I'm just gonna grab any flowers I see. Yeah, Magical Melody definitely had an ocean. You can buy property on it. Claude, I'm not gonna lie, you look like a villain. Like, you look like you're here, okay, you're a city, you're from the mythical city. That is referenced in a, so many games. I don't know, he looks like he's gonna try to buy up the town. Yeah, it would also not surprise me if it's like story locked. Also, what is that sound? Oh, it's the windmill. Okay, Claude and okay, that they do look kind of familiar. Whoops. Uh, there's nothing else I really need to buy at the moment. We might just head home and go to bed soon. Also, are all these houses locked right now? It might just be because there's no one living there, maybe? Seems weird to have so many houses and not be able to go inside them. 
Also, you two are twins, right? Or are you just... Okay, they... Are they siblings? They look really familiar. Or did they just recycle the sprite? Okay, so they are siblings, maybe. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, we'll probably need these later. Okay, so if I throw something in here, it goes straight to storage. It's oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Wait, can I not just put it down? Nope, I have to throw. Oh, storage is full at the moment. Hold on. Uh, oh, I guess it is full. Okay, what do I not need? I guess we don't really need weeds for now. I want to save what we actually do need. I'm gonna throw the weeds out for now, because I have a feeling we can get those later. I want to throw all the stuff in here that won't store. Wait, hold on a minute. I guess. Wait. Oh, they're different star levels, that's why. Hey, yeah. Roasted salty peanuts? Hey, hey, yeah. hey, I mean, I yeah. like peanuts. Oh, I want to see something now. So, does using the bathroom actually only take like a couple of minutes from the in-game timer? Yeah, even though it says it's going to take some time, it literally only takes like four to five minutes in-game. I still pause that's not enough time to take a full bath. Oh, um, hold on a minute. I want to go get some flowers. I want to put them in the vase and see what happens. Yeah, three minutes is not long enough to have a, like, thorough bath, especially if we're doing farm work. Get back in there and actually clean up. Like, jumping in and out of the tub is not a proper bath, farmer man. That's not even enough time to, like, relax and let your stamina regen. Uh, what was I doing? Right, I want to get some flowers. I want to try putting one in the vase. Because I'm not sure if it actually does anything in this game. Is it like uh, Friends of Mineral Town where it, like, slightly affects your fatigue and stamina? Or is it just there to look decorative? Okay, well, um, have the crops dried out yet? No, not yet. Gotta kill some more time. I'm gonna go jump. Oh, is that a flower? Oh yeah, that is. That blends in with the background. I mean, I feel- oh, don't run- right, don't run in crops. 
I mean, if you're gonna take care of time, I feel like you gotta use some type of magic. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll experiment a little bit with the vase, see what that does. Also, wait, does reading take time? Okay, it looks like menus, um, here. Let me see. So we're at 15. I'm guessing looking at menus like this won't, ex uh, let time progress. Oh yeah, I need to actually figure out which bachelorette I want to try to romance in this game. I kind of like Freya. We haven't met her yet, though. Wait, are there only four? Assuming there are just some people who haven't moved in yet. Hey. No animals yet. Still long alone. Uh, so far the game is hasn't been too bad. I haven't really gone to the meat of the game yet though, which I'm assuming is gonna be the bazaar on Saturday. Hey. It's early game though. Like you can't really tell like a Harvest Moon game like for the first couple of days. We gotta give it some time. I kinda wish we didn't have to wait all day to water the crops a second time though. It probably will become less of an issue as we get further in the game and have more to do every day. Right now I am literally just running around town just waiting for the afternoon to pass. Just because I want to get that second watering in. It also doesn't help that the town feels really small in this game. It's literally one screen. Yeah, we don't have any access to mining of any kind, no wood cutting to get a lumber or sickle. Oh, uh, crops are drying out. Okay, I'll rewire those and then go to bed. I'm gonna do something. I want to put... The stuff that can spoil into storage. Oh, I have room. Uh, there. I'm assuming bugs won't spoil. Considering they're still alive, I'm assuming. Like, we've been capturing them live, so they should not spoil. What the? Yeah. yeah, I've been trying to catch butterflies. I might just have the timing wrong. Because I'm assuming we can, yeah, we can just get them by jumping at them and hitting B. The perspective is also a little weird. Whoops. I'll figure it out. I'm going to bed. Oh, wait. Why do we have a slam attack? Wait. I think I just smushed the butterfly. Okay, it flew off. Alright, so this is about as far as I got from my very first time playing the game. Or, we're now further than I got in my very first time playing the game. Oh good, crops are starting to come in.
I don't think I've ever seen a cheese fly in game. Oh, that's it. I right. That makes sense. Listen, it's a not to make game. There's no there's like a non-zero chance that they would name something a cheese fly. How do I unequip stuff again? I guess that's how. I'm guessing if, I'm gonna try to figure. Oh, I flew away. I'm gonna try to figure out how to catch these butterflies. Hey, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah, this is a mar this is a marvelous game. This is back when they were still working together. So not to make localized data translate it. So far though, I haven't seen any major typos. Alright, what to do with the rest of the day? Because I want to see if I can squeeze in my- actually, hold on, how long do, uh... How long do turnips take to grow? Four to five. Okay. So I think if I water them twice a day, we might be able to get them in before the bazaar on Saturday. Yeah, nowadays XSeed is the one that publishes them and uh, localizes them in the West. I'm still trying to figure out what the purpose of this is. Like, is there at any point going to be a reason that I need to enter through the chimney? Or is that just like a fun little weird thing? Also, I like how our uh, character can jump so far that they can just clear the river. Got it. Oh yeah, I like Animal Parade. I do think Ammo Parade is too slow, though, in terms of the time. Like, I should not be able to finish all of my chores and walk to town and still have to wait around for, like, two hours for stores to open. When you have to use a trick to make time pass faster, you know something is off. of time we're still killing it while we're waiting for the uh, crops to dry out I mean fishing is the trick to make time pass faster because it's actually faster in that game because every time you cast out your line and bring it back in uh, 10 minutes pass and that's actually faster than letting time pass normally I mean, yeah, Winds of Anthos is fine. Not that great. Hey, yeah. 
It'd be in a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, right now I'm just hoarding junk that I think I can sell later on. Uh, what can I get rid of? Or what can I take out? If it can stay fresh in my inventory, or if it doesn't need to stay fresh, I'm not too worried about, t uh, what is it, keeping in storage. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, whatever. I was trying to put it back into storage. Eh, it was just a butterfly, or a grasshopper, I think. But yeah. Breath of the Wild yeah. with farming. Hey. Yeah. Asterisk. Not very much farming. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah. Here, you know what? Hold on. Take a little bit of storage space. Uh... I can keep these bugs on me. You know what? Hmm. No, I really should just wait for them to dry out so I can water them again. waiting. Rare yeah. yeah. Tranquility might be remastered. Eight. Maybe. Honestly, the next one I expect them to do is Magical Melody. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Eight. That just seems like the logical next one to go for. bizarre. Once you're open, we'll see what the big deal is. I can't leave town. I am trapped here now. They won't let me leave. Okay, uh, it's already 1pm. Hopefully the crops will dry out soon so I can water them and go to bed. Oh, we can actually go in here now. <laughs> Hi, Angelo. What are you? Is that the mayor? Okay, Felix. Yeah. Felix kind of might be in love with himself. That's definitely Felix, right? stuff for the storage box. Alright, let's start heading home. I want to go throw Eight. these things in the storage yeah. and then go to bed. Eight. Yeah. Oh, where's my basket? Uh, let me see something. Okay, no, I can't access the menu from here. So... If I take these out... Don't eat them. And throw them. Yep, and then that should be in storage. I don't know. Honestly, this seems like more trouble than it's worth. Like, I feel like with how close storage is to the area, I feel like it might be faster just to stick them in my inventory and then just walk them over to storage. Because 
in earlier games, the basket would make sense because your inventory was just so freaking limited that you kind of had to use a basket. In this one, though, I don't know. Everything stacks, so I can just walk over to storage and stick them all in faster. Because we can't do this via menu. We have to throw them manually into the basket. Am I missing something about the basket? Also, what the heck is this area for? I'm guessing a building later on? Hurry up and dry out. I want to water you. It's 4 p.m. already. It looks like it takes, what, 11 hours for them to dry out? Because I watered them first thing in the morning. There we go. Making sure my crops are always watered. All right, have a bed. All right, so Bazaar is on the 7th? 7th or 6th? What day is it today? Thursday? And it's always on Saturday or Sunday, right? Okay, on the 7th. Two more days until Bazaar Day. Oh! Yo. Turn are ready. Yo. Yo. Okay. Yo. Yo. I can't afford Yo. any more seeds at the moment. So, uh... Screw it, I'm going to bed. Because we're not going to be able to sell these until Bizarre Day. Oh, I guess that's also one reason that we might not want to water crops twice a day. Like, how quickly do things go bad? Theoretically, if we want to be as fresh as possible for every bazaar, we would want to try to. T what is this? That is a massive walnut. Oh my god. Anyways, if we want to make sure our crops are as fresh as possible, I guess we would want to make sure we pick them like the day before a bazaar as much as possible, or even the day of. Because the bazaar doesn't start until 10. Well, anyways, uh, I'm going to bed. I know for a fact that my crops are going to be ready before the bazaar. Actually, you know what we could do tomorrow? We could also go buy more fertilizer. I haven't really been buying it because I wanted to save what little cash I had. Or, or not. Yo. 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 Okay, well, we have our crops ready for the bazaar. Uh, I've been gathering as much junk as I can find around. Oh, I can't fit anymore. Wait. Do these not stack? 
No, they stack. Okay. The bazaar is tomorrow. We got all the crops in. I have a ton of flowers and junk that I've been made, I've been able to find around the valley. Town. And more of a valley in this case. Like I said, I don't know too much about the bazaar, so I guess we'll figure out how it works tomorrow. We'll finally be able to make some money. So, I guess, so far it looks like we won't be able to sell anything except at the bazaar. Oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. Hi, Freya. I guess we, yeah, we haven't been, oh, whoops. I'm able to see you for a while. And before a while, I mean for the last week. I think I might try to romance Freya. I don't know, I kind of like her. You know what? I'm a flower. Okay, um... Yeah, there's nothing else I want to do right now. I don't have any crops of water. Everything's been harvested. I'm going to go to bed. I want to see what the bazaar is like tomorrow. Let's see how this get, this plays out. All the DS ones, I still say Tale of Two Towns. I still consider that a DS uh, farming game, even though it was also on 3DS. If we include 3DS, then Trio of Towns uh, jumps up ahead. I can't wait until the one where we get four towns. Quadret, uh, Quadret of Towns? That sounds weird. Alright, let's see how the bazaar works here. It's all been building up to this. Alright, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Who has set up shop today? Got Lloyd over here. Oh, is this one of those games where you kind of want a guide open? You know what? I'm going to try to figure it out without the guide at first. Am I the only- I guess I'm the only farmer in town, huh? Maybe that's why we got a free farm. But yeah, I at least want to try to figure it out without the guide for now. If it actually does come down to it, we can give it a try. Or we can, uh, try pulling it up. Oops, hold on, can I? I can't put away my watering can right now. I can't get to the menu. Also, is that a pig? Oh. Hi, Enrique. They really do all look exactly the same, except for different colored clothing, huh? Oh, baby sheep and chickens. I thought that was a pig. No, I think it's just a lamb. Oh, a generic NPC who knows who has nothing. Okay. 
I don't know why I had to talk to her. All right, how do we sell? Wait, what do you mean from either side? Oh, that way. Because I was going to say, we need to stand on this side to sell stuff. Oh, alright. I mean, I was going to sell all the junk I had in storage, but okay. Uh, let's see. So we got chocolate. Let's sell... Where are my turnips? Oh, can I not get to storage? Hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna run back to my farm and grab my stuff then, if that's the case. Alright, you want one. Okay, so I need to run back and grab a bunch of junk out of my uh, storage bin then. And we need to make sure we only sell them how much they want. Don't give them too many. Alright, we got total sales. Got it. Oh, wait, we have to sell a certain amount every bazaar. Okay, so the bazaar is, in fact, a contest. Okay, so we'll just need to pay attention to that. As we make more money, we can expand our store more. And come back by 10. It's cumulative. Okay, so as we basically do every bazaar, we get more and more. All right. So I'm gonna run back home, grab my stuff to sell, and then come back. Don't start without me. So I guess first priority is to sell all my crops. Oh, actually I want to try something first. Uh... Here, let me get my turnips first, and then a bunch of other stuff I can sell. Alright, what do I not need? Give me these. I'm gonna put away the stuff I definitely am not gonna sell. I'm gonna try selling some flowers as well. I don't know how much I'm gonna need this first time, so let's just go a bit more... Let's err on the side of caution, basically. But yeah, I want to try something. How much would cooked, like, cooked turnip salad uh, sell for more? Yeah. Will it sell for more than just, like, normal turnips? Let's uh, turn half, turn four of them into turnip salad. Sure. Okay, I think I have everything I want to sell for now. Let's go sell it. Why is it such a long walk between the house and the bazaar? Time to go make some cash. Uh, we still have half an hour before it opens, fortunately. Made it. 
Okay, so... At some point, we're also going to want to go around and see if we can buy some uh, stuff at the bazaar. Because I want to see if I can get better seeds. At some point, I'm probably going to want animals once I have the cash. Uh, what else do I need? No, don't open my stand yet. I need to actually put some stuff up. Oh, whoops. We need to make between 15k and 20k. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Oh wait, how do I put stuff down? Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, right, I need to actually put some stuff down before I start selling, right? I thought all we need to do... Oh, wait, no. Right, we have to open the stand first. I'm dumb. Okay, uh... So this is, what, 3.30? Okay, so it does, in fact... They do sell for more if I cook them. Got it. Alright, we got four of those. We'll put down some chocolate. And let's put down all of our turnips for now. I only have room for three. Okay. Come on up, people. Let's, uh, let's buy some stuff. Um, hold on. There we go. Okay. Hello there. What do you want? You want one of these? There you go. You little... Duck? What the heck is that? Oh, I think that's a baby. I think I just tried to sell to a baby. One of you. Three. One, two, three. Perfect. Come on up, people. Two of these. There you go. Alright, that's all the chocolate gone. Oh, here comes the duck baby. Two of those. Two of those. Come on. Man, the bell's like hurting animals in older games. That all my- okay, that's all the cooked turnip salad I had. Come on. Someone buy these and then I can restock. Oops. Oh, I guess I can just restock here. Um, putting this down. Ooh, these don't sell very much. I was hoping they would sell for more. Uh, we'll put these down then. Come on up, people. What do you want? One. One, two. Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm going to make 15k. At least not today. It'll probably take a couple of, uh, bazaars to get to that point. Oh, uh, hold on. Mouse no stuff. For some reason, honeycomb sells for a bit. That's all the stuff I have there. Let's put more stuff down. Let's not sell the weeds. 
Something tells me people won't like that very much. Alright, we are now a flower shop. Come on up, people. Buy my flowers. Three. One. Alright, this is probably gonna be my last batch, I think. Do I have anything else I can sell? I guess I can start selling bugs. They're not worth very much, but they are something to sell. But yeah, I think once we sell this batch, we can probably... I want some time to make sure I go around the bazaar, see if I can buy some stuff. Oh, is that Freya? Fre Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep selling. Okay, uh, I don't know if they're going to buy anything else at this point. Alright, last thing here. Alright, um... I think we're gonna take a break here. Got anything else good here? Ooh, so we can buy upgrades at the bazaar. How much is this gonna cost? Like, if I expand my storage, it is 10k. Okay, um, don't have that money. 10k there. So cooked dishes do sell for a lot more than, uh, just raw crops. Good to know. Ooh. Hold on a second. That's a sickle. A thousand gold. Don't want that, though. I need to buy this at some point. You know, screw it. Yeah, I need this at some point anyway, so I'm just gonna grab that. Are these animals? These are animals. Ooh, I can afford a chicken. Oh, do I want a chicken? Oh my god, this... Okay, this interface kind of sucks. Um... Ooh. A chicken might legitimately be worth it. Oh, that's gonna cost so much of my money, though. Do I buy this now, or should I wait until... Next bazaar. Uh, the problem is I don't know if I'll be able to afford to feed it, too. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a week on that one. I'm gonna spend all my money this bazaar on, like, seeds and stuff. I want a bit more cash so that I'll have, like... I can basically afford to actually feed it. Oops. Hold on, I'm gonna unequip this. Wrapping stall... Yeah, I, I usually never bother with wrapping. Alright, we got the wrapping stall over there. Oh, seeds. Here we go. This is what I wanted. This I am definitely grabbing. Okay, uh, six to eight days for potatoes. Okay, um... I want six of these. Actually, do I want six... How much would 10 cost me? That's 1,700. You know what? I'm going to take 10 uh, potatoes. Uh, let's get like... Ooh, these are expensive. Give me like 5. Oh, that's actually going to cost all my money. Never mind. I want... Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have bought so many potatoes. Uh, let's get like... Two for now. Probably should have bought more of those first. Oh well. I want to save some money for like basic turnips as well. Um, or I don't need ore. 
Don't need ore yet. Carpentry or anything else. All right, it looks like that's everything for sale at the moment. Okay. Yeah, next week I want to definitely make sure I buy myself another chicken. That's food. Actually, wait, wait, hold on a minute. Can I learn recipes from these? Ooh, sandwich. Straight tea. I feel like we should... Um, maybe next week. I'll worry about getting recipes later. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Give me one more cabbage. Okay, the rest of my money though, I'm gonna spend on like turnip seeds. I might get some turnips and then buy a bunch of fertilizer. So that next week we have a bunch of crops we can sell. I think that's the plan. Uh, yeah, I think that's the plan for now. Let's get out of here. I can't sell anything else, unfortunately. We're kind I guess I can sell more bugs. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna run a bug store for a little bit. Come and get your insects. Oh, I guess the baby duck might want one. That's totally just a baby, right? He just looks like a duck for some we- I guess it's a hat. Or am I just- Am I making this up? That looks like a duck hat, right? One. Here we go. All right, I don't think anyone wants this. No one? No one wants the the one remaining insect? Come on up. If you, uh, if you want it, now's your only chance to buy it. There you go. Okay, that's literally everything I had to sell. No more money today. Can I leave? I can. All right. Let's head home. I've got to go plant some stuff. Oh, actually, wait. Hey, yeah. No, right. You're closing Bazaar Days, obviously. Hey, yeah. I'm going to go get these in the ground so they can start growing immediately. Because hey. 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 Yeah. Hey. Hey. if I did this right, I should have potatoes ready for next time. Two, Two. Two. three, Two. four, Two. five. Two. 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 Oh, it's only nine across. I thought it was Two. ten. Okay, uh, never mind. Two. Actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. It might be easier if I did it vertically. Two. Well, no, it's about the same. Okay. Potatoes. to 15. Okay. So I think those will be ready. Oh, whoops. I'm running. Okay. So I think those will be ready uh, for the bazaar after the next one. The potatoes should be ready by next bazaar. So we can get those sold off. I want to make a bunch of turnips and cook them because it turns out turnip salad does in fact sell for more than just turnips. And I guess I should also collect as many flowers as I can just to fill up my bizarre stall. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm playing this on the uh, on a 3DS. 
That's the entire reason I had this all set up. I wanted to test out my setup with my 3DS capture card. Because unfortunately I kind of... When I got a new computer a few, like, a little while ago, I think I accidentally forgot to transfer my DS settings. Alright, it's nighttime. Not for bed. Alright, today's though, bizarre results, not too bad. We got about 4k. I spent a lot of it on seeds, but that's gonna be worth it come next bazaar. Oh, I probably should have brought all of these to sell as well. Oh well. That's fine, we can sell them next bazaar. They might be a little less fresh, but that's fine. Out of bed. Alright, first bazaar though, not bad. I see how the bazaar can be interesting. It's gonna take some getting used to knowing that's the only, like, chance to make money. Oh, give flowers to as many people as you can. Wait, that's how this works? Okay. So we basically need to give as many, like, where at noon? Wait. Okay, so we probably shouldn't start giving away flowers until after the announcement at the beginning. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna grab all my flowers then. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't sell all of them. How did we do? Probably not the greatest. It was our first time. Oh my god. What is Wilbur selling in? Lloyd sells ore, so I guess that makes sense. Joan... Joan sells food. Once again, that does make sense. Whenever you go to like one of these swap meets or anything, people always buy food. People need food. Man, Joan, you are just killing it at the bazaar. I don't think we got any questions, did we? Wait. Oh, never mind. Fifteen K to twenty K. All right, I am determined to get this in the next bazaar. Might not happen, but we'll see. Probably won't happen. Oh, did my ah? Uh, that's why I got untilled. I guess it doesn't last from day to day. Okay. I kind of want to play until the next bazaar, which is on Sunday. I think the next one's on a Sunday, right? Yeah, okay. Because the holiday's on Saturday. I don't know, we might play until the next bazaar. Or maybe we'll save that until next time and try to just get a big profit going. We'll see. Right now, though, I'm not going to give anyone flowers yet until the official announcement. Because it said it would start at noon. But I would like to go buy some seeds and fertilizer. More the fertilizer than the seeds, to be honest. Hey, Phoenix. Okay, we'll come back afternoon. Alright, give me these. How much can I afford? Can I afford like eight? I want to save some money for fertilizer. You know what? Screw it. Give me those. 
and give me 150 in fertilizer. Can't make money without spending money. I am flat broke now. It's fine. I'm investing in the future. Okay, I'm gonna get these in the ground and hopefully they'll be ready to uh, water again in the afternoon. I think I'm going to fertilize... Ooh, don't want to fertilize the potatoes or the turnips. Probably the potatoes. Actually, yeah, you know what? We'll fertilize the potatoes. Alright, that's five... Alright, that is eight. Actually, maybe we should fertilize the turret. Mm. Cabbages should also use some fertilization. That's a... I'm pretty sure that's not how you refer to it when it comes to plants. Oh, actually, no. Water first. Yeah, you know what? We're going to fertilize the potatoes. Make sure they're as good as they can be for the next uh, bazaar. Turnips I'm going to cook, so we'll make those into salads, because we know that sells for more. Actually, if I can get a recipe that involves potatoes... Hmm. That's tempting. Also, you know, screw it. One batch of, uh, one batch of fertilizer for everything. Okay. But yeah, I am determined to somehow make over 10k next time. If we're going to be doing that, I just need stuff to sell. So, any flowers, any, like, herbs I find out in the wild, I'm picking up and selling. I want, do twigs sell for anything? Or weeds? I know the bizarre people will buy everything. Bugs didn't sell for very much, unfortunately. Oh, I didn't see a fishing pole for sale either. If I can get some fish going on my stall, that might sell for quite a bit. Because there are definitely fish in the river. I can see them. I can't catch them because I don't have a fishing rod. And jumping into the river apparently does not count. I feel... <laughs> Hold on a second. Where's a fish? Uh, we'll get out of the festival soon. Doesn't start for another two hours. Where's a fish? Okay, no, that does not in fact work. I cannot slam a fish from the sky with a hoe. That would have been a hilarious way of catching fish, but... They didn't go that direction. Slam attacks do not work against fish. Also, how do we get sea urchin from a river? It's literally in the name. It comes from the sea. Oh, whoops. Let me jump in there. Alright, well, anyways, we have, like, another hour to kill before the festival starts. Uh, we'll be right back. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. That's something to sell. Does that show up every day? Wait. Okay, it doesn't seem to show up every day. Or it doesn't show up all the time. Maybe I should check here every day just to make sure. It's, it sounds like it's just random chance. Also, this looks like something I can break with a hammer eventually. It's gonna bounce here for another 15 minutes waiting for the festival to start. I 
Yeah, just a background rock. It looks significant, but I guess it's just background. Alright, it's noon. Let's go see what's going on. It's the Flower Festival, apparently. All right, Felix, how does this work? It apparently takes four days. Noon on the 12th. So, do we just straight up just need to give flowers to everyone every day? Because I can do that. I can do that right now. Here you go, have a flower. Everybody gets a flower. Who has not gotten a flower yet? Oh, Felix, you haven't gotten a flower yet. Okay, uh... I have one more on me, right? Yeah, last one. Uh, who has not gotten a flower yet? Who has not gotten a flower yet who I actually care about? Okay, that's all the flowers I had for now. So I think every day we're just going to go out, pick as many flowers as we can, and just give them away to people. Any more flowers? Or did I already strip the area, uh, bare today? Man, I wish I didn't sell all my flowers then. I guess we knew about the flower festival. I just didn't think this is what it would be. Okay. Uh, let's start heading for home. Any flowers? Nope. Yeah, I don't think there are any flowers left, unfortunately. I got them all. So I guess we'll just wait a little longer until the crops dry out. I'll water them and then it's off to bed. Next week, though, I'm definitely buying myself a chicken. If I start selling eggs at the bazaar, that would be a good thing. Oh, we could probably learn how to... Oh, actually, wait. I don't think we can cook anything right now because... Our kitchen, as far as I can tell, is literally just a cutting board and a stove. Like, hold on. Oh wait, are there even utensils in this game? Like, if I just stick a walnut in there? Or mint? Eh, nah. Or we should learn some recipes before I go crazy with the cooking. Apparently we learn recipes by eating. But once I have money again, I'm probably gonna go dine at the, at the uh, cafe for a bit. Maybe next time I'll grab a snack at the bazaar as well. But yeah, I'm having fun with this game. The Bazaar is a very interesting concept. I don't know if... I want to see how it pans out a bit, like... Long term? Like, it seems fun every once in a while, but at some points... I kind of just want to get a bunch of cash. And not have to play a wacky minigame to attract customers. It does seem like we get a ton of money, though, since it's done once a week instead of every day. 
And judging by the date, like the cap of fifteen to twenty thousand, hey, yeah. is the beginning. Uh, oop, not flower. Is the beginning like um quota? Seems like we're gonna be making a lot of money throughout this game. Yeah, we'll probably get faster and faster. Right now we are still at the low level. We have oop, whoops. One second, I'm gonna go take a quick bath so I don't knock myself out. Bath time. Time for a nice three minute bath. I don't even know if that would be warm at that. I guess it. If it's like. Actually, no, how would it be warm? It, that's not enough time to fill a bathtub, right? I'm gonna use the bathroom. But yeah, once we get upgrades, I'm sure I'll go faster and faster. This is fine. Right now, we're just kind of struggling a little bit to get by. I somehow got I somehow came out of the bazaar with less money. Oh, good. Let's get these watered. Oh, I guess we also don't have any way of telling the weather. Wait, doesn't seem right. That's one thing I've noticed about a lot, a lot of more modern Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons games. I miss the TV. It's like, that makes so much more sense to have like the weather channel just tell you what the weather is going forward, like what would happen in real life. Nowadays, they kind of have to move away from the TV, so you get it from, like, the radio or the newspaper. In this game, though, it doesn't seem like there's any way to predict the weather for the next day. Which is a, like, kind of a weird, like, exclusion. Because weather is definitely one of those things that, like, in real life you would want to know. second. Oh, drawing out. All right, we're good. Time for bed. make sure we go uh oh it's raining oh it's raining so no watering crops today i do notice that this is one of those games where the rain does not have music also i guess i can't catch frogs Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. Also, this is definitely not an insect game. Alright, well, anyways, uh... It's raining, so not much to do today. I guess we'll go around giving away flowers and then go to bed early. Oh, mushrooms. I can sell those. And or eat them. Hey, yeah. 
But yeah, I kind of still miss those old days where like rain just... The lack of music always makes rainy days feel a bit dreary. Which I kind of like. Just to make it like a nice change of pace. Because you always, you usually treat rainy days differently than you would like uh, sunny days. Because we don't need to worry about crop water or any of that. Any more flowers I can pick? You're it's really hard to see flowers on my captured screen. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay, I think that's all the flowers we're getting. Wait. There we go. Also, I kind of wish the default wasn't for your character to try to eat everything. I want to put it in his hands, not his mouth. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, I just realized it's a nice little detail. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me see that again. Unless I'm imagining this. Once I've been outside in the rain and run in, yeah, we leave behind water when we run. For a little bit, at least. So we are, in fact, tracking in the rainwater. Nice little detail, if a little rude. Uh, no coins. Oh, never mind. Coins. I am definitely selling these next time the uh, bazaar is ready. But yeah, looks like I don't see any more flowers today. Oh wait, here's one. That's a flower, right? That's an herb, darn it. Oh. Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, I got... Nope, it's a sea urchin. A sea urchin somehow ended up in the river. That is going straight to the bazaar. Normally found by the sea, very rare in this area. So if I just keep dunking myself... Hold on a second. It's raining, so if I just keep dunking myself... Am I gonna eventually just get a bunch of rare items? Or am I just getting super lucky? Okay, no, I think I'm just getting super lucky those first two times. Yeah, it's random. Yeah, I think I just got lucky. Okay. Uh, let's stop jumping into the river. Listen, I don't have anything else to do with my stamina at the moment. So, going for a nice swim is, like, not a terrible idea. Okay, yeah, we'll stop. I got two items out of that. Listen, sea urchin is pretty valuable if it's like the right kind of sea urchin they use for like sushi or food. So maybe I'll sell for a pretty uh, pretty penny at the next bazaar. I do need to keep it fresh though, so I guess I'm going to go throw it in storage for now. Uh, right, I'm out of flowers. Okay.
All right, so put that away. So they'll all stay fresh. Coins don't go bad. Bugs don't go bad. Rocks and sticks don't go bad. Okay. Let's take a nice, uh, use the bathroom real quick. I'll get a little bit of stamina back. There we go. All nice and clean and a little bit of stamina. You know what that means? I now have enough stamina to jump in the river a couple more times. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's a stick. Oh, well, better than nothing. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's go to bed. This is why they don't put jumping in a lot of these games. I want to at least finish the flower festival this point, this uh, stream. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to the next bazaar. I guess I'll, I'll just keep an eye on the time. Well, hold on. What's the holiday on the Saturday? Uh, Saturday is Harmony Day. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. I don't have any chocolates, unfortunately. Okay, we'll see. I think we're going to play until the end of the Flower Festival and then probably continue this next time. Uh... Oh, no stream next week, by the way, because I'm going to be doing a mini-thon uh, for one of my friends. I know I not to have time on Twitter already, but basically I'm going to be playing some Nintendogs. I'm going to be speedrunning the beginning of Nintendogs. So that should be fun. I know the details are up on Twitter at this point and in the Discord. But yeah, no stream next Sunday because of that. So we'll probably continue Grand Bazaar the week after next. I do want to give this at least a couple of streams to go through. Just to kind of get a good idea of the game. I want to at least get through summer. We'll see. I basically want to keep going until I have most of the mechanics unlocked. Although, if this is like Tale of Two Towns, it's going to take forever. That's honestly the one thing that's been holding me back from a Tale of Two Towns playthrough. Well, then the fact that there are newer games to play nowadays, but the one thing that's always been holding me back for that one is just the time. Not investment so much, but just kind of like the uh, timing of all the events in that game. How basically everything major happens in between, that's a rock, in between seasons. After every, like, cooking festival. It kind of makes it a little hard to try to plan everything out. Because I know I've mentioned this before, but usually when it comes to these games, I try to get everything done within two years. It's like my self-imposed time limit to make sure things don't go off the rails. Like, a lot of the time, if I try to get everything done in two years... That usually also means I need to find, like, either... I need to make sure I plan ahead to make sure everything can fit within those two years. Whenever reasonable, obviously. Something like A Wonderful Life, obviously, I'm not going to be doing two years of that game. That would be the first two chapters out of seven. That game has seven chapters, I think, right? Yeah, that's the thing about Tale of Two Towns. I get that they were trying to make it, like, slow and kind of methodical. I think they went a little overboard. The fact that every season you can only choose either a tool upgrade or a house upgrade is kind of... That really makes the pace just go down the drain. Yeah. 
I also think about these games. If you, like, plan ahead and try to be as efficient as possible, you can, like, start, uh, what is it? You can start, like, wheezing in those time frames more and more. So you can fit more and more in. Tale of Two Towns just kind of forces that pace on you, no matter what. Oh, I have my water can equipped. I was wondering why the animation wasn't going off. Alright, we got some flowers. Let's start giving them away. Uh... You. <laughs> Lloyd, have a flower. Uh, where's Freya? Actually, where does Freya work? Does she work at the cafe? I just realized. I don't actually know where she works. Yeah. Apparently, she's from the city. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. So, I don't know. Does she leave during the day? Does she commute to the mythical city or not? All right, well, anyways, I don't see you around. <clears throat> well, anyways, we'll just keep giving everyone flowers for now. Hey. One of these days, I kind of want them to just make a game where you can actually go visit the city for once. Oh, I didn't give a flower away, whoops. Right. Because you always see NPCs talking about about it, and apparently some of the characters you play as also come from the city. Hey, yeah. hey, and people yeah. commute to it, hey, so yeah. it's obviously not super far away. Hey, yeah. yeah, obviously see the city. Hey, yeah. Kind of like uh, Animal Crossing City Folk. It's out there somewhere. How many more flowers do I have on me? Two. Three. No, two. Nope, three. Never mind. The font in this game is a bit weird when it comes to small letters. Yeah, that's true. It lets you visit it, but you just don't see it. Hi there. What's, uh, what's going on in here? a week and a half, but yes. I guess that is just moving in. Oh yeah, the windmills. We keep hearing about them and seeing them around town. There's one on my property. I think it's pretty nice. Town is a little on the smaller side, though. Okay, anyways. I need to start giving away more flowers again. There we go. Alright, that's all the flowers I had. Right? These are all herbs. Yeah, these are all herbs. Okay. Hey, yeah. But yeah, hey, you're right. Yeah. In Wonderful Life Remake, you actually hey, do get to go to the city. You hey, just don't yeah. see it. Hey, yeah. 
Although I think in that game it's implied to be Mineral Town. Because in DS, if you linked, uh, what's it, a Mineral Town cartridge into... Well, no, actually, I guess it's a new generation in that game. I don't know, the timeline is weird, okay? Oh, is that a flower? That's a flower. The timeline of the Story of Seasons series is weird. And might involve a couple of time loops. Okay, I guess people do live there. I just can't go inside because there's no one home. I gave you a flower already, right? Nope, not yet. There you go. But yeah, like, almost as almost like a shit post videos. I kind of want someday to try to like suss out the timeline of the one of, of a story of seasons, and also like the world map of the se of the entire series, because all these towns are coastal towns. So it's like all along the coastline of this world, if they're all even in the same country, and then the timeline is just completely out there. I already know about at least one weird, like, time loop in the series at one point with the uh, Animal Parade. With whole ending and New Game Plus options. DS and A Wonderful Life are apparently, like, different generations that are pretty much identical. Which also makes me wonder where Mineral Town fits into it. And then there are the parallel timelines of the boy and the girl versions, which might lead to different games, who knows? I don't know. No one knows. It's like the Zelda timeline, except in this case, they 100% did not have a plan of a single timeline. Uh, anyways, uh, we still have like, what, four hours to kill? And then the world map would make no sense, because like, Half the towns in these series don't have an exit or an entrance. Like Mineral Town, the only way in and out of town is by sea. There's no like land path out as far as I remember. This town there's a way out, you gotta go to the bazaar, but we're not allowed to leave. Yeah, there is there could be an exit we just don't see, but we kind of see the entire town in that game. I guess it could be to the south through the forest. Alright, anyways, uh yeah, just killing time right now. Hoping for or just waiting for um 4 p.m. Actually, you know what? If we're killing time... Come on, give me a free thing. Give me like a free sea urchin. Or a coin. Or anything. Oh, hold on. Uh... Wood. Well, still free. Okay, um... I do actually need stamina this afternoon, so let's stop for- whoop! Let's stop for now. I'm gonna run home, take a bath, and then go water the crops. Oh yeah, the world map for Pokemon. I mean, that one's more established, to be fair. Like, a lot of the, uh, not genres, a lot of the regions are definitely linked together. That we definitely know about. Like, um, all of the mere real world layouts. Like, we know Kanto and Johto are, li are literally connected. And then we also now know, like, Kalos and... I am blanking on the new of the uh, latest region for some reason, despite how much I played that game. Yeah, I'm dumb. Yeah, 
we definitely know Galar and uh, Kalos are close. We do know that Paldea and Kalos are basically connected hey, yeah. by the latest DLC. Kind of like how Spain and hey, France are. Yeah. All right, hurry up and dry up. I have water waiting. You need, I need to make sure you grow in time for um, the next bazaar. I am not letting them beat me again. I'm not gonna win the bazaar for a while, unfortunately. Judging by how much we sold in the first one, to be fair, that was the first one. I didn't have anything to sell yet. I think once I get some animals and just like a bunch of crops going, we should be able to win the bazaar after a couple of uh, attempts. Oh. I guess we should also wait until our stall is actually upgraded. Yeah, we know Honan is like... It's based off southern Japan, so it's to the south. Uh, Sinnoh is definitely to the north because of how cold it is. Yanova is all the way across, like, on a different continent. Just due to the fact that all the uh, Pokemon are different. Basically, the Pokemon regions kind of reflect a lot of the real world, like, positions of a lot of these places. We know, like, the Pokemon Coliseum games are, all the way are also pretty far away. Because that's based on, like, the American Southwest. Uh, anyways, bedtime. Let's get to Wadron. So the Flower Festival ends tomorrow at noon. So two more days of this. Honestly, should I? Nah, I should continue watering them twice a day for now, just to be safe. Oh, I forgot to put the herbs in storage. They should still be good. I'll take a look at that in a second. Today. Did that change anything? Is this like it was island of happiness that had like you need a certain amount of sun and clouds to get your crops to grow properly? They got rid of that in this game, right? Okay, they got rid of it. That's good. So we don't have to worry about weather except for when it's raining and storming and stuff. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, crops are good. Oh, what the? Huh, I saw something. I think it was just my basket. Alright, we need to go get more flowers. Yeah, that was a really dumb idea. I don't... That was a really dumb idea. Like, on the one hand, it's technically realistic in that, obviously, crops grow best if there's a variety of weather. At the same time, it's not that strict. Like, in real life, obviously, if you have super sunny weather, you'll need to water and adapt to it. But plants aren't very, aren't like, they don't require a certain amount of sun or clouds. It just kind of affects things. Oops. Alright, um... 
Let's go. Get more flowers. A flower? No, that, those are just weeds. That's a flower. everyone I haven't seen Freya for a little bit I think she might have already left for the day I don't actually know where Freya lives in fact I don't know where a lot of NPCs live I think she probably lives in some one of these like middle houses that, are ne that no one's ever home at wait if no one's home why is there smoke coming out of the chimney Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure she works in the city, so we can only catch her early or late in the day. Also, I think they left their fireplaces on because there's smoke coming out of the chimney, which is a fire hazard. Alright, well, if we can't find her, we'll just give the flowers to anyone else we see. Wait, there we go. You know what, Mood? Here, have a flower. Whoops. Hold on, Antoinette. Uh, hold on a second faster way to get to the inventory do we have to do it through the menu so far grand bazaar is fun it's a bit on the slow side at the beginning not gonna lie the week between bazaars is uh starting out is a little painful just because everything's still getting kind of set up and mechanics are being introduced just the fact that we have to wait a week in between making money. As you've already seen, I spent all of my money within the first day of getting it. Honestly, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of, like... Uh, okay, I can't sell the real if I need, like, money between. But at the same time, I really feel like the bazaar is where we should be making all of our money. Like, the game is definitely designed around that. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of like old, if anyone's ever, like the old SimCity games, where you can only get your tax money every year. So you basically, like, uh, what is it? Where basically you get all of your money at all at once, then you just quickly spend it all on all your upgrades, and then you just kind of have to wait for the next, uh, oh! Wait, what? Did I find a secret magical cave on accident? I guess so. Uh, what was I saying? Right, so you basically spend all your money and then you just have a bunch of downtime waiting for the next um, infusion of cash. Alright, well, anyways. Also, the double watering thing is cool in concept like it was in um, A Wonderful Life. I think it works better in A Wonderful Life because it's a way to skip time so you don't have to wait all day. Just a squeeze in that second watering and I guess in that game there was also two milkings a day. In this one though, we're just kind of waiting. Yeah, this is also one thing I've also mentioned before in terms of just like whenever everyone asks about like farming games, I do think one super important aspect that a lot of people don't seem to discuss as much is kind of time flow almost how quickly time passes because that's the thing like so a game like animal parade i love animal parade but the flow of time in that game kind of holds it back for me 
Just the fact that it takes forever for time to pass and you have to wait for things. This game also kind of has that issue in that it's more of a design thing where it's just kind of the most efficient way to do things is to wait until the afternoon to go to bed. Because you want to water your crops twice a day to get maximum growth. Whereas something like Friends of Mineral Town feels just right in terms of the time you have. Like you can get everything done and have plenty of time to do stuff during the afternoons as well. But yeah, right now we're just kind of waiting for the crops to dry out. Because I gave away all the flowers I could, right? Yeah, I gave away all my flowers. I'm sure we'll be mitigated later on once we have more stuff to do. But early on, when we just don't have anything going on at the moment... Oh, uh, I'm out of storage space. Oh wait, I have toy flowers in here! Give me those! Yeah, true. We could be catching bugs and selling them to Raul for a bit of extra cash, but I want to save all my money making for the bazaar. Also, in terms of the bachelorette we're going for, right now we're, I'm thinking Freya. But yeah, also the second watery is also probably planned for you to have more activities to do during the day as well. Like animals and uh, other side activities. Fishing. Mining might be a thing. I don't actually know if mining is a thing in this game. Okay, here's the thing about rival aspects. Or like rival marriages in these games. I don't think I've ever naturally gotten them. Like, also, is there no one home? Like, all the games that have it, I have to go out of my way to see them. Because they always take so freaking long to actually go off. I gave you a flower today, right? Oh, no, I guess I haven't. But yeah, I don't think I've ever naturally in a normal playthrough of gone a rival marriage. Because usually they take, what, four to five years to give you enough time? I usually never- I usually get married within the first year if possible. Yeah, friends of Middle Town. Rival marriage once again. I don't think I naturally got it until like... Like, like, I was gonna say. Yeah, it takes forever. Is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, it's almost 4 p.m. Should almost be time for the second watering. I guess next chance I get, I might. You know what? Hold on a second. I wanna make a little bit of extra cash. I wanna see something. How much does real sell or buy bugs for? Yeah, it's about the same. Do I have to sell them one at a time? Yep, okay. Well, that's 20 gold. To be fair, that's a lot more than I had before. Of zero. I can now afford two bags of fertilizer. Or... Nope, there is no ore in this case. I can buy two bags of fertilizer and that's about it. Although, you know what would be one game that would definitely benefit from, like, rival marriages? It would have been the Wonderful Life remake. 
like, it would be cool if, like, the other Bachelors and Bachelorettes also found, like, spouses between chapters. Instead of saying sing- instead of staying single for the next 20 years. Uh, alright. Time for bed. So tomorrow we'll see the results of the flower festival. I don't know if I gave away enough to win. I'm hoping so. I don't know how hard the game wanted me to go into, like, throwing flowers at everyone as much as possible. Also, I don't know if today is going to count towards that. Uh, no, I did not win the bizarre part for the very first bazaar. I definitely did not have enough stuff to make 15,000. Oh, hey. Think you're making money. Give me those. Those are going straight into storage. Oops. Once again, hoping my potatoes will be done soon. It's only Thursday, so we have a couple more days. Yeah, the star system is definitely a thing in this game. Oh, actually, I want to see something. Um, If I cook from a recipe here, does turnip... Uh, what is it? I going to say, do a... Uh... Does cooked food have freshness? Okay, yeah, it still does have freshness, so I guess it doesn't matter. Here, I'm gonna cook them right before... Oh, right, um... Crap. I need to upgrade my storage box. That's fine. If it goes bad in my backpack, it goes bad. Maybe I'll start giving away some of these herbs. I'm pretty sure they don't count as flowers. And the flower contest doesn't get announced till noon, so I want to see if maybe these will still count. I doubt it. I'm pointing this away. So, like, if I say gave you a flower. Okay, I think it might still count. Okay, one second. Uh, I need more people. Who lives here? Just Dirk. I don't have beds in here for one person. Quality of life if they make Magical Melody remake. Um, a couple of things I think. Uh, movement speed, just movement in general in that game. Inventory upgrades. What else would be major for an up for a remake? Hey, yeah. 
Honestly, Love is just kind of the uh, movement tech in that game. A little awkward. Okay, these do not count as flowers. Inventory management's a big thing in that one. It still uses that old school, very limited, kind of annoying to work with inventory. Property would be an interesting thing to kind of revamp. Make let Jamie have an actual like marriage route. Oh, I accidentally befriended Kevin. Rename Jamie's dog to whatever it was supposed to be named instead of whatever they did in the original. Apparently, they're that's supposed to be like Cerberus or something. Instead, they named it. I don't even remember how to. I don't even know how to pronounce what they named her, uh, their dog in the original Magical Melody. It's almost noon. Yeah, that's it. That's how they train. I think it was. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if this is true or not. I, but I'm pretty sure the original like Japanese name was supposed to be like a version of Cerberus. Uh, but somehow it got turned into that. Love like weird localization mistakes like that. Kind of like uh oh what game was it? Oh um what is it? Oh yeah, they're gonna have to redo a lot with Jamie to for that. Oh it was a uh, so I remember the, like GBA versions of Tales of Fantasia, the funniest like weird localization issue that apparently nobody caught was that in that game they translated Ragnarok into Kangaroo and nobody noticed. So whenever you hear anyone refer to like Ragnarok, like the end of the world in Norse mythology, it got translated to Kangaroo. Someone was not doing their job over in that localization. Oh, it's also past noon. Friends in Middle Town had a ton of typos. That's true. Okay. How many flowers did I give away? I did not keep count. Darn it, Joan again. I feel like Joan is just winning everything. Are they gonna give a count? No? Darn it, I want to see, okay. Well, unfortunately, even though I gave away all of my flowers, I didn't win. Okay, Joan is apparently a force of nature. Cause didn't Joan also win the uh, first Grand Bazaar? Both in terms of sales and happiness. Joan, what the heck? You are apparently the one to beat. You know. Unfortunately, we can't use tools on people. All right, well, that's a shame, but oh well. I guess next year we'll need to remember to actually hoard all the flowers we get and just kind of give them all away during this week. I wonder if I just didn't, like, spread my net wide enough? Because I assume it's just based on the number of flowers you give away. Oh, there was a flower here. Darn it. Maybe I could have given away one more and won it this year. Oh well. Okay. 
Well, I'm gonna go uh, jump in the river a couple times to make myself feel better. problem with like bachelorettes who show up later i feel like if you don't i feel like if you miss that initial impression of everyone at the beginning of the game it's kind of hard to justify waiting that long for a new person to come in especially if you have to wait like an entire in-game year for that Obviously, it makes sense if they're, like, showing up throughout the first, like, season or two. By the time you reach year two, though, I feel like by then you're already, like, that on a bachelorette or so. That might just be me because, like I said, I tend to impose a two-year time limit on any of my playthroughs. Alright, anyways, we're just waiting. I'm gonna put this away so I don't accidentally cut down my crops. Just waiting right now. get the Day of the Diver expansion. I forgot about that. Alright, almost time. But yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up the stream once I finish, uh, finish for the day. And then we'll get the next Bizarre 2 for the next stream. Now that we're kind of past the intro tutorial section, I now know, like, more about what's expected of me at each Bizarre. I definitely want to get myself a chicken, though. Because getting animals is going to be a nice boon for, like... Actually... It would still be a nice boon, but I guess we wouldn't get daily income from them, which is kind of the whole reason to get animals in the main games. We're fine. Uh, I think there's one Day of the Diver expansion. I know they announced a second one coming with Godzilla of all things. Alright, come on, dry up. I got your water right here. Yeah, apparently in this game, once you get an animal, you can't get rid of... Basically, what... Wait. Did they make the goat again? Like, once you get an animal, you can't get rid of it. No matter how much you want to. No, as in, not like the actual goat, but like, the whole concept behind the goat where you buy it and then you just cannot get rid of it for the rest of the game without letting it, uh... Oh, I'm low on stamina. Yeah, you can't sell it or anything. Because that was the whole thing about the goat and the and the wonderful life. It was like the ultimate beginner's trap. Uh, you would buy it thinking, oh cool, a new animal that I can get that'll give me milk. And then once it stops giving milk, there is no way to get rid of it. You can't sell it, can't let it go, you just kind of have to let it die.
right, but yeah, we'll just try not to go overboard with animals early on. It's raining. But yeah, I think this is a good place to wrap up the stream then. We still have a couple of days left until the next bazaar. I kind of don't want to keep going for, uh, until then. It's going to take hey, probably another yeah. hour. Oh, are these done? Yo. Oh, wait, these are done. Yo. Hold on. Actually, wait, no, I can't save. Okay, we'll do this next time. Because, yeah, we can only save when we go to bed. But, yeah, thanks, everyone, for coming today. Seems like the DS streams are going well. Everything seems to be working fine. Uh, I think I might make a couple of adjustments for the next stream, but we'll see. So, like I said earlier in the stream, no stream next weekend. Because I'm going to be doing a mini-thon on Saturday. Uh, details are on Twitter and in my Discord. I'll be speedrunning some Nintendo dogs on Saturday morning. So hope you guys can see that. And then the weekend after that, we'll probably continue on with more uh, Grand Bazaar. I want to give this game another couple of streams and just see where we're at after that. But yeah, thanks everyone for coming out tonight. Today. Of the afternoon. Bye everyone.